morning, guys. It is currently four in the morning, and we're about to head out to go on a sourcing trip. So a couple times out the year, I'll drive down south to Texas to source at the rag houses down there because it's super cheap. I haven't been in a minute. So in this video, we're actually going to be going on a, I guess you could call it two day, a uh, three day trip, two night trip, what is it, down south. And I want to bring you guys along. Quickly, my name is Gerardo. I run the account Resilient. I sell vintage clothing that I curate. I sell it online and pop up so you can check it out there. Um, we need to get on the road because it is a five hour drive and yeah, um, it's early, your boy's tired, we need some coffee. So I'll check up with y'all later. What's up guys, we're finally here. What is it, after like a five and a half hour drive? What is it, it was pretty long. We woke up at four, well, we woke up at 3.30. We left at four. It is currently about 10 o'clock. We stopped for gas, stopped for some coffee, 956. I mentioned that I was down south. Catherine's running into the restroom real fast. She had to go. But essentially, we're about to head to the rag houses. I want to explain how the rag houses work here. So essentially, there's like two different style rag houses. Um, there's some where you purchase bales, like these giant 1,000 pound bales of clothing, and you dig through them, you throw, not throw away, but you give back because they shred it into rags. Like the clothes you don't want, but you keep the ones you do want and they weigh it. And if it weighs within a certain amount, like you get to keep whatever, depending on like, I guess how much the bale costs. And then there's other ones where they're free picking, where it's like price per pound. Uh, it varies per pound, but those, it's just like digging through mountains of clothing and stuff like that. I won't be able to bring my camera in, but I'm gonna bring my iPhone in and try to get like B-roll clips. If anything, I'll do voiceovers or, um, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I generally love being down here. It's how I used to source a lot um, within the last year. It's been a minute, like I mentioned earlier this morning, since I've been here. Um, I know one of, I have a couple good friends down here, a couple of people who actually sell. So I'm excited to get some different interactions to show you guys because it's going to be a three day trip, like two and a half days I'm going to be down here. So I'm going to try my best to get as much content for y'all guys. And yeah. Um, I'm going to continue drinking my coffee uh, and once Catherine gets back we're gonna head to the first rag house and start picking guys and after that quick restroom stop we're at our first rag house we immediately began picking I ended up with this small little pile with this first location then we went to a second location that we were able to find the bales of clothing I was talking about we went through the pile just digging 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 it honestly took us a couple hours to go through this it was pretty exhausting I did end up finding some really cool pieces so stay to the end so I can show you guys what exactly I found but here we are getting near the end of the bale literally it's just bale after bale there's a lot of luck involved in going to these rag houses so even though like you are at them it doesn't mean that you're gonna find a bunch of pieces like literally in this clip I'm going through pieces and probably like 95% of the bale is junk but it's just part of it. We also went through a white spale that was all white t-shirts. And yeah, we ended up with a good amount of stuff, guys. We just got done at the rag houses and quite literally, we are both exhausted. It is 4.47, the rag houses closed actually at five. So we made the most out of, Jesus, I have a sunburn going on right here. And if you guys haven't noticed, I do have a little head tan line uh from the markets last weekend it was a decent day what is it we ended up going to two rag houses one was a free picking one um normally we like to get bales from that specific place it was like the small bundle i found in the first i guess the first set of clips um but they didn't have any bales for us just because they were sold out and we went to another place and we ended up getting three bales and it took us quite literally like I want to say like five hours to go through three bales because they're these giant thousand pound bales. We're going to get some food on us because we're starving, we're dehydrated, and honestly after this we just want to go to the Airbnb. But if we do anything cool tonight, I'll show you guys and yes, if not, see you guys tomorrow for day two of picking.
Good morning, guys. It is day two of our sourcing trip. Uh, we just got coffee. What is it? Down here, there's this local coffee shop called Sovereign. And I absolutely, I guess they don't have no branding on these cups, but I love the coffee down here. It's normally what we get. It's funny because the coffee's really good, but sometimes their breakfast options are not questionable, but um, they have like a lot of vegan breakfast options and sometimes they don't have all their breakfast options. So we got breakfast from there, like some overnight oats and some of these kolaches, but we were still kind of hungry. So quite literally, I don't even know if you guys can see it behind us. Oh yeah, there, it's right there. There's a gas station behind us, so we literally got breakfast tacos. Um, girlfriend is downing a breakfast taco right now. <laughs> which were honestly pretty good. We're about to head to the area where all the rack houses are. Um, yesterday was a decent day. There's the bag of like all the clothes we found yesterday. It's a pretty large bag, it's pretty heavy. So hopefully we can find like the same, if not more today. And yeah, I'll take you guys along. Tomorrow I'm excited because um, we're gonna head to another city down in the valley. It's called McAllen um, down there's a certain area of McAllen where they have a ton of like flea markets that actually happen throughout the week and they say on Wednesdays that they restock that's whenever we're going that all the local vendors like bring in a bunch of stuff so there's going to be a flea market portion of this video so stay tuned for that but I'm going to continue finishing my coffee and then we're going to start picking. After a quick fill up with some coffee and some breakfast tacos, we're on the way to the rag houses, guys. We ended up going to the first one we went to yesterday. It was okay. We immediately started looking and quickly <laughs> there was this alien head just propped up. Very interesting. We had a small stack and we ended up going to another rag house. This one is ran by an older lady who is generally so sweet. We did a little bit of free picking and the clothes on the floor and then we started on the bales. Although she will kill me for this clip, I'm grateful I get to take my girlfriend Kat on these trips. She's sourcing for herself but at the same time she helps me. Um, we try our best to stay hydrated because obviously it's like 90 degrees outside, it's pretty warm. We, we went through a couple bales of clothing and yeah, it's pretty much a ton of digging. We're grateful because we did end up with a ton of stuff. I was able to lift it on my shoulders and yeah, it was a good day guys. We just got done at the uh, first rack house of the day. Well, actually, technically second. We went to the small free picking one again, and we got another tiny little bundle from them. And then we went to a new rag house, and it was actually pretty good. Um, as you saw, we left with a lot of stuff. Oh, I left with a lot of stuff. My girlfriend, Kat, who sells as well, um, she didn't really find much stuff, so we're actually going to hit some thrift stores because in this town, well, I'll just say we're in Brownsville, Texas. There's a downtown area that has a ton of like small like mom and pop thrift shops. What is it? So we're currently parked. We are going to go in through here and walk the streets. There's this cute little cafe that I mean it's it's solid food. Like it's nothing crazy, but just to go to quick lunch. And once we get done with that, we're gonna go back to the rag houses before they close because they close at five and it's currently 1:30. So after a quick thrift and lunch break, um yeah, let's hope we find more stuff. Good morning, guys. Let me fix you all, guys. So, <laughs> um, uh, yesterday didn't really go as planned. Um, we went to those mini thrift stores and um, it was actually quite good. As you saw, we got um, quite a bit of stuff. It was quite cheap. And then quite literally, we went back to the Airbnb because we were going to do some stuff uh, later that night, like stop at my friend's store. But it turns out my friend's store actually was closed for the day, so we couldn't go. And we literally sat down and just knocked out. I have no idea what happened, but we just <laughs> went to bed. We woke up, it was 10.30 at night, we were starving. So we literally looked around uh, Brownsville, Texas for tacos. And we ended up finding, what is it, this small little taco shop that closed at midnight. We made it just in time and the tacos were pretty good. That's one thing about Brownsville is like, obviously it's right next to Mexico. So you can expect some pretty good tacos that were cheap. I think between me and Catherine, we got like eight tacos and some like charro beans for under $15. So I mean, you can't complain with the prices. Um, 
I'm outside. Uh, we're outside the Airbnb right now. We're actually about to check out. It is about like 8 a.m. in the morning. We're going to drive to the next city in the valley called McAllen because over in there they have a couple flea markets we're going to shop at. Of course, we're going to stop by Sovereign to go get some coffee. We're probably going to walk across the street to go get uh, the gas station burritos again. Catherine quite enjoyed those. But yeah, I just want to let you all know that we accidentally overslept last night. I would guess we were just like really tired between the rack houses and being in the sun and just like constantly picking quite literally. Uh, I wear an Apple Watch and my Apple Watch the first two days at the rack house have been reading that I burned like the first day was like 600. The second day was like 700 calories just from picking clothes because we we're literally just constantly going through the clothes. So that was it's crazy. But Yes, we're gonna get going because it's about an hour drive, so I need to stop yapping and we need to get on the road. So we are finally at the flea market we intended to go. We actually stopped by another one we saw on the side of the road that was quite big. Um, it was okay. Like we both found some stuff, Catherine more than me, um, but a lot of the prices were a little high than I would like to pay, especially for like flea market prices. It was still a lot of fun to walk through. Flea markets are generally one of my favorite things to do. Just like walk around, see all the local vendors. Obviously it's different from buying a thrift store who's like a big corporation or a company. Uh, rather you're buying from like these local people who are some, especially this flea market, we're on the border of Mexico right now. We can literally walk over to the, uh, what is it, internationally to Mexico. So there's people who come from Mexico to sell. So it's just a cool interaction just to see all of these like older people buying and selling and stuff i'm gonna get some clips of this one um this one tends to be a little bit better stuff is cheaper because like just to be honest it's a little bit of like an older flea market obviously it's on the border in mexico so fingers crossed we find some stuff and then we are driving back to houston tonight or i guess this afternoon and getting to houston tonight after we get done here so yes fingers crossed we find some stuff Hey guys, one last voiceover before the video ends. We got to the second flea market. You can tell that this one was a different vibe, but to be honest, we ended up finding more stuff as you can see from this full cart as well. I did get a sunburn. It was pretty hot. We ended up going to a couple rag houses in the area, so I filmed this one. Essentially this rag house, it was like a giant mountain of clothing and everything was priced per pound. So we started digging through it it was okay we got a small stack but just to be transparent if you made it this far in the video i want to let you know this small stack ended up being only six dollars so i mean you can't beat that price guys hello guys back in the i guess we could call this truck cam a bit has happened we got some food that was okay that seems to be the story of the trip um, basically, if you're down in the valley, the only good thing to eat is Mexican food and tacos. Um, that's pretty much all there is. Everything else is just kind of like meh. Maybe that's just because we're from Houston and we're super picky about our food. But we stopped by one like local vintage store, um, really grabbed nothing. And then we just stopped by a thrift store. What is it? We're currently sitting in the parking lot of it. Didn't really find much there. I found like a knit polo and then cat found a corset but we are going back home it is like four o'clock right now so we'll probably get back to houston around like 9 10 p.m at night we're both cooked right now but we have to get back home so i have to wash all the clothes tomorrow because it is a ton of clothes so i'll probably have like the finale clip or like the final clips of this be like actually showing a couple of my favorite pieces because obviously i haven't shown any of the pieces yet in the video so um it will be extended to tomorrow, so you'll get, a, <laughs> I guess, an idea of what I did in the span of four days. But generally, thank you guys for much watching at this point. If you're liking it, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yes, time to go home. Woo, yay driving. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we just got back to the apartment. We finished uh, washing everything, folding everything. I lugged it back here. And yeah, we have a good amount of clothes. What is it? This is all the clothes that is from the valley trip. Essentially, it's a bunch of sweatshirts, t-shirts. Um, it's literally a whole bunch of everything. It does seem like a lot of clothes, but at the end of the day, I am going to ThriftCon Atlanta. It's actually next week, which is insane, but I'm a little stressed out because even though this is a lot of clothes, I still need more, or at least I think I need more. I need to count everything I have at my storage unit that I currently already am selling and then count this because um, I'm going to have a 15 by 15 booth at Atlanta that's going to be filled with vintage and it's a two day event. So basically I need to have enough clothes for two days to fill up these things. Before we wrap up the video, I did want to go through a couple of my favorite pieces because there's a ton of things and I'm going to try to pick out a couple and show you guys what's cool. I have the pieces right here. It ended up being six pieces starting off with this. Let's see, it's on the Lee Sports tag. We have the San Francisco 49ers football sweatshirt. I do like to grab a couple of sweatshirt bales whenever I'm down in the valley. So I, I find things like this, like cool sports pieces, a lot of grandma sweatshirts, um, other cool like nature sweatshirts as well. So I'm super happy every time I find them. Uh, I guess on the theme of outerwear, it's this cool. Let me just show you the front real fast. This vintage guess like zip up like a uh, what is that called like a quarter sleeve a pullover love the colors on this one the little badge or tag on it is so sick this is kind of like a simpler one but it's this vintage austin texas tea and it's so cool because it has like a bunch of different like uh landmarks on it like i believe there's the state capitol different buildings, Memorial Stadium, and then the back has so much more. It has like, probably like Ladyburg, Lake Austin, Zulker Park, it has Stick Street on it, which is super cool. Um, I absolutely love this piece. Um, it's probably only worth like 30 bucks, but it's just like those cool, unique pieces that, I mean, I go to Austin so much, of course I'm gonna grab this guy. I did. This was found at one of the thrift stores, like the small thrift stores me and Catherine went to. And it's this cool little knit sweater. If you guys know, between knit sweater and real tree camo, I sell so much of them in the booth. Because they generally do move and I generally like them a lot. The pattern on this guy is super cool. I did find a couple pieces that obviously are worth a little bit more money. And these are two of my favorite that I found on the shorties skateboard tag. We have this, is it either Muska or Muska? Shorty skate tee, this is a cool guy. It's in really good condition. There is a little bit of cracking, just slight cracking, but there's a huge trend in skate tees within the vintage community and just within skate culture in general. With hookups, there's Element, there's so many other brands. So whenever I saw Shorties, I was familiar with the brand. I'm like, oh, this is worth some money. And then we got this one. This one is a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championship tee. Um, so this was the third championship the Bulls won, third of five with Michael Jordan. This one's super cool. I love that it's a black tee. It has a nice, good fading, good, good condition. Only flaws, just a little bit of bleach, but I mean, come on. That's literally nothing. Yeah, and we have a ton of stuff that will be available at ThriftCon Atlanta. I wish I could show everything I found, but that video will literally take me like an hour to film, just one piece after another. Generally, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was a ton of fun to go down to the valley. I'm trying to do it more because it's a good way to source. I generally love being down uh, south. All the people are so friendly. It's always a good time. Like I said, next week, I'm going to be at ThriftCon Atlanta. So I'm going to do my best to film as much as I can because it's going to be a pretty big event. It's two days over like 200 vendors set up, so many different booths, so many different like activation installations. I mean, it, it, it's a big deal. I need to start price tagging this stuff in my living room because obviously my living room is a storage space, but... I do work out of here, so I want to get rid of this clothes as quickly as I can. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, all the socials are down below. Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than see you guys.